This is Lori Thomas, Wild Web Woman, CEO of Web Marketing Therapy and the Marketing Therapist and Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, who is completely dedicated to educating professionals within the Santa Barbara County, has partnered with me to create this series of online marketing training. And we're going to cover online content to build credibility, visibility, and sellability. In the new rules of marketing PR, the rule is that content is cool. And the more we create content, the more we can boost our personal credibility, our professional credibility, our search engine visibility, and also sellability, which is ultimately what we're all in business to do. Whether we're for-profit or non-profit, we need funds and customers and support to keep the momentum moving. Content is king. You'll probably read that in search engine marketing articles, online marketing articles. This is going to be a rule that will live with the online marketing industry for the entire life of the online marketing industry forever and ever and ever. The more content we produce that serves, supports our customers, will sell and support our businesses. Content can come in a lot of different ways. It's not just website text that lives on our, on our websites. It can be articles that are out on article marketing sites. It can be online press releases, and online press releases are written by organizations, sometimes by public relations firms, but now our, our own internal teams can become content producers to help build our credibility, visibility, and sellability. Video is the number one way to distribute content. More people watch video online than anything. So I secretly know what you're doing during the workday, but I'm just kidding. But from a professional perspective, putting out video can help get um, where customers served, can build the trust factors because people will actually see you or hear you. And it's like television, right? It's easy to watch and definitely a good way to get the word out. Podcasts. Podcasts are mostly audio. Sometimes there's video attached to them, but anyone can become the host of their own show or, or uh, end up getting interviewed on podcasts as another way to get content out there. And blogs. Blogs are a way to boost business, and there's a webinar dedicated just to blogging but our blog post can be one more way that we are producing content. Easy Articles is a website. It's not the prettiest website on the planet, but it's a website that is heavily indexed in the search engine results pages. And despite its lack of attractiveness, professionals, whether we're big business or small business, can put articles out that are educational based on the people we're trying to build our trust with and sell to. This is an article that I wrote on how to avoid critical email marketing mistakes. And I published this on my blog, but what I also did was I repurposed it and I put it on article marketing sites to help build my credibility and my visibility. And at the end of these article marketing pieces that you publish, you can actually have a bio at the end. So what you can do in submitting to eZine article sites is absolutely free. You just go to ezinearticles.com. And you can optimize your author bio at the end of the articles with your headshot, which will boost your trust factor. Any social media content you produce, if there's a picture of you smiling that typically boosts your credibility 300%, you can submit a keyword-rich biography that has keywords and phrases that people would potentially search on to find your organization. And the best part is you can add links to your website, to your blog, or to your social media profiles to help take this article that builds your credibility and your search visibility and also boost your sellability by driving traffic back to your website. There are lots of different websites that you can publish your online press releases to. This is one website, PR Web, that my agency, Web Marketing Therapy, uses. We like PR Web because we are able to get our press releases that we typically write for our clients. We put them out there, we publish them to PR Web, and the media gets first dibs at them. But we can also put links to our clients' websites, and we are able to put pictures or video within the PR Web releases building a lot more interactivity and, and um, contacts for, for the organization. With online PR, you want to create press releases that are interesting to the end user. There needs to be value to them. The days of old school public relations where we put press releases out and we fax them to the newspapers, and the newspapers knew how to decipher them, those days are no more. What we're doing is we're writing stories. We're story selling through educational content, whether it's things that your target market needs to know and doesn't know, or if there's news or anything that's relevant based on industry events, that will help 
people understand why they need to be in touch with you. And these news releases can actually boost your search visibility. The San Francisco Marathon happened in July of 2010, and any of the news that was going on around that was coming up on the first page of the search engine results page. So if there's current events and your organization can piggyback on them, whether it's Mother's Day, Father's Day, holidays, technology day, anything um, that is news picked up, then what your press releases can do is potentially get you Google visibility or Yahoo or Bing, depending on your organization. Also with video and podcasts, if you are publishing video out there, if Phone Halo is a Santa Barbara-based business, and if you lose your phone, they have technology that you buy in advance to ensure that you're able to track down your, your mobile devices, which is brilliant. They have a great video out. They actually have several videos out on the web. One of them is on YouTube, and I did a search for their company. Their website comes up. Their products page comes up. A news um, release from CNET News came up. So there's content, news content working for them, and their video comes up all on the first page of the search engine results page. This is building the credibility, it's building search visibility, but also potentially building the sellability because for this organization, one, two, three, four different links to this web to this business. Actually all five of them are specific to this company and not their competition. So it's really helping weed out the competition and do what I like to call total web domination. So customers can watch videos, go to the website direct, read news reviews. It doesn't matter. They're very visible. With content, it helps your SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. It helps you build traffic and it helps you build leads. Leads, sales, phone calls, whatever you're looking to accomplish. What you do is you put keywords or phrases within the press release or article and or the content of the video, and you can link it to relevant pages of your own website. And those links from the article marketing sites or the press releases, they count as inbound links back to your website, and the search engines love that. So if you are a Ventura dog trainer, in the release you can say, uh, Ventura Dog Trainer, blah, 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 the words Ventura Dog Trainer can link back to the Ventura Dog Trainer's website, and that can boost search engine visibility. The press release or article needs to just have keywords and phrases that could also correspond to information searched by journalists or bloggers, which could potentially increase your pickup by the media or other websites, which is viral or word of mouth marketing. And you offer a reason for visitors to come to your website via your content. Always have a call to action, whether it's to learn more about our company, visit whatever your website is for um, special discount pricing, contact, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, it gives people reason to take action. On the web, people need to be told what to do, and it's up to you as a business owner to guide people into your front door. Here's a sample of a search engine friendly rich new lease. This is for Acton MBA. They're an entrepreneurial school of business based in Texas. And they have a press release, and I believe this, art, this press release was about how they don't sell their students' contact information. Most MBA schools make a lot of money reselling their students' info, and even in tough economic times, Acton MBA has really stuck to their values and insisted that they respect their students' privacy. And they did a press release about it. It was educational. It goes in the kit to every single student, but they also repurposed this content and published it on their website. And what they did is they put keywords that are specific to their school. Even if someone doesn't know about Acton MBA, they might search for a Texas Business School or a top MBA program. So those phrases are in the press release linking back to the website. And here's a tip. When you're doing an online press release, make sure you have a really marketing-friendly boilerplate. Boilerplate is public relations speak for brief information about your company and your credibility. And it's very short, usually two sentences, and it usually closes with a, to learn more about blah, 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 visit, and whatever your website is. This boilerplate can be tough to write. Sometimes the shorter the uh, sentences, the you know, more powerful and more time consuming it is to get all the best practices and the must communicate points in there. But once you have this boilerplate, you use the same one pretty much over and over and over again in your press releases. So the marketing message is driven home.